Okay, so let me highlight one, one by one, and then we'll write that down. Okay. So Ontario oblique system. So again, once again, we are talking about uh, uh, let's say for example, left side shoulder towards right side's hip, and a little bit down the thigh. So we have this diagonal, diagonal uh, pattern from the front right so anterior oblique system anterior means from the front of the body uh, oblique means diagonal system right so anterior oblique a all S. Perfect. External abdominal oblique muscles. Uh, muscles like MM that's short for muscles right? these are all gonna be external structures these are all gonna be uh, outer unit structures um, and then contra contralateral two words right contra lateral contralateral internal abdominal oblique Hip adductor. Don't confuse with abductor. Ad, ad. Uh, in short, we usually we just go like hip, hip. You you will see this in in scientific like literature here and there. Hip adductor muscles okay so uh so what are those uh, so here we can, these, these are all quite superficial structures right so the right side shoulder right side shoulder towards left side's hip right right there that's uh that's the diagonal the, that diagonal uh, direction right there so we can see the fiber direction it it points downwards kind of like like a v so actually if we if we are going layer by layer it's gonna be external abdominal oblique which is kind of like up kind of like a v then it's upside down v internal abdominal oblique then it's rectus abdominis which goes like this and then below we have transverse abdominis that goes like that so contralateral uh, internal abdominal oblique and hip adductor so contralateral for both of these structures internal abdominal oblique and hip adductor muscles Contralateral meaning on the opposite side, right? So contralateral. Lateral means away from, from the center. As we go farther away, that's lateral. Latin short. As we go closer towards towards the middle, we can say medial. Medial, right? So if we are talking about this side's shoulder, this side's, the other side's hip, they are contralateral to each other here we can see that the fiber direction right see, see how the fiber direction goes goes up like that mm -hmm. so that's the continuation of the of this system uh, so we start from this side then we go down towards the other sides uh, one layer down internal abdominal oblique and then we go downwards right and so all these we, we, we are not talking about like a particular muscle uh, we're talking about this whole group all these structures right there so they are the ones that will do adduction of the hip right there so we are talking about these structures here so external abdominal oblique
and that's in short internal abdominal oblique on the other side contralateral and contralateral hip adductors adductors ad adductors So, uh, so this is one of the biggest uh, systems in our body. Uh, what's the significance? Why, why do we even talk about this? So with weak anterior oblique system, uh, we will have, we will have increased uh, lordotic posture. If we pull this side, skip towards this side, shoulder, this side, skip towards this side, shoulder, we will, we'll go backwards, right? We'll, we'll increase posterior pelvic tilt. We'll, we'll tilt the pelvis backwards, right? Um, again, we don't need completely flat back. Uh, spine is designed uh, for shock, shock absorption. We need a little bit of a lordotic cur curve, but not excessive, right? Artistic gymnasts, right, for example, they have crazy lordosis. We need good balance between anterior structures and posterior structures. We, uh, we shouldn't uh, uh, strengthen only one of these systems. All of them have to be uh, um, equally st strong and equally uh, uh, stretched, right? Uh, and once again, uh, all of these systems should uh, fire only after inner unit is fired. At first, we, uh, inner unit, core, core is str uh, strong, core is, uh, core is tight, and only then we uh, we go with these with these uh, additional moments uh, the, even brushing your teeth you know even even that really we need actually proper posture like gardening for example right back injuries are possible and actually i see that in my practice uh, again and again uh, uh, springtime and autumn time right healthy uh, anterior oblique system uh, is our first defense against lumbar spine extension injuries and I would recommend, for example, in Pilates, uh, there is maybe maybe you're familiar with dead bug. Uh, that should be that should be like the first one that uh, that that we try really. Are you familiar with dead bug? You know what that is? Let me try to uh, okay. <laughs> uh, yeah. draw that. So like so, this is the head, right? So that that's the ground. Yeah. So we are lying on the ground like that. Both legs up okay. like that. And we have both arms towards the ceiling. That's the starting position. When we start doing this, it is essential to have pelvis in neutral position. What is neutral position? Just in between anterior pelvic tilt and posterior pelvic tilt. So when you when you when you lie flat on the ground, you go towards the front as far as you can go and towards the back as far as you can go. And then kind of like position it right in the middle. Go back and forth a couple of times, mid position, that's where it should be. Okay? When we start to move uh, our upper limbs, lower limbs, we have, to, we have to keep this position. So pelvis can't, can't start tilting uh, towards the front and can't start tilting towards the back. When we, when we acquire this position, that's it. No moment. We are holding our inner unit nice and tight and only then we will start to move upper limbs, lower limbs. We'll probably start with the arms. We'll still, we'll still keep the legs up like that. So we'll start with the arms, one arm at a time, going up, right? So up, the other, the other arm up, okay? And then we will, uh, and then we will add, add legs. Diagonally. Yeah. Yeah, and then that's that's another progression, okay? So we we progress step by step. So for legs, we will still keep one bent, and the other one is gonna go straight down like that let's say let's Im let's let's imagine both sides both sides uh, both sides uh, hips are flexed so we will go kind of like this and same same with the opposite side right but no hip moment right no hip hack that's another thing no hip hack hip hack means uh, one side's one side's uh, pelvis going up like that no moment whatsoever no moment whatsoever tilting towards the front tilting towards the back and tilting one side skip up or down right when we when we get that when we clinch that inner unit tight that's it no movement so try to follow me here so we are talking about this side skip or this side skip going up 
up towards the ceiling right so when there's uh, so there's misalignment and that's it there goes the balance uh, upslip is more common and that's uh, it could be as simple as uh, like let's say texting walking you know uh, pokemon hunting or something like that and uh, miss a curb and just kind of like uh, when, when you miss when you miss a step right you you, you don't expect that there's going to be a drop and, and then you go down and you, this this said skip could be it could be easily uh, easily shifted it uh, doesn't take too much if we don't have uh, inner unit fired you know like that's uh, I'm talking about unexpected uh, situation where you don't really expect that so that could be the simplest uh, simplest type of injury um, uh, downslip is less common uh, that would be pulling force right so that would be something pulling on your leg downwards uh, which is it doesn't happen that often it could be a skiing accident uh, you know your leg is somehow trapped and and your body you basically the weight of your body pulls pulls your leg downwards or it could be like let's say horseback riding every once in a while that happens so you you fall you fell off the horse and uh, your leg is still fixed in the in the saddle and it's just again just a pull right so those are not that common upslips are usually more common uh, if we have strong anterior oblique system, uh, this, uh, as, as we said, that you know, for lower back pain of any kind, uh, lordotic region, uh, sacroiliac region, uh, it's it's our major defense. Uh, so even if we uh, if we happen to be in any of those unexpected situations, uh, if we have strong AOS, uh, it will prevent the injury uh, from happening. With weak uh, AOS pelvis is going to tilt towards the front these muscles are short um, and so again it's part of it is strengthening part of it is stretch part of it is actually strengthening uh, um, anterior oblique system both sides uh, and and the other actually part is actually stretching uh, these muscles as well right so we're talking about lower back muscles primarily